Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalever. And right now, we need to talk about March 15th, 1923. I had to leave Reval, or the Nationalists call it Tallinn. The past few weeks have been chaotic. The sky turned black as if the nights never end. And the earth shook with a power I'd never felt. It wasn't long until dirt and rocks started raining in the sea, pushing water into the city. I traveled on foot as my car was destroyed in the flood, and I don't know how to ride a horse. I walked around for a few days without knowing where I would go, with only the occasional berry or dead forest animal to help my hunger. I don't know where I'm, I'll go from here, but I have a feeling I'm going to go west for some reason. The Nationals are currently fighting the Germans. They drove the Germans out of Raval, but are still fighting. I'm following the convoys from a distance. Maybe some of them know me. I don't know what's happening. Me too. But last time we discovered this mod, and we had a little bit of a border war in which we did win that war, and we've also made our divisions, at least some of them, 20 combat width, in which we need some support artillery as well. And right now, resources aren't terrible. we got enough melee weapons, body armor, infantry equipment, but we could use some artillery as well as cavalry equipment, and we've just finished buying the Empire together. Up next, we're going to go ahead and spread the word of Tara, or Terra, which, in which we get more conquer support, even though we are slowly losing our support for our group here, I believe. Point seven eight. Yeah, slowly going down, but scavengers turn empty-handed. Well, that sucks. Well, we do have a lot of people here. We could go to force conscription, but... Yeah, we probably should do that. We can still do this stuff, but we can kind of save this for later. War economists... Yeah, there's really no point, as someone did point out in the comments, for us to really build military, not military factories, forts. We don't, I don't think we'll need forts, so I think we'll be okay. We might just want to do some economist stuff, because that probably would be pretty darn good for us to get. But, let's see. Up next, turn on the markets. Bleeding Heart of the Kalvala. Oh, where is that? Do we want to get rid of that? Probably not, honestly. I like the construction being consumer goods, so... We were wrong to trust those manufacturers we propped up. Now they betrayed us, we will have a harder time getting rid of them. Language theory? Let's do that one. Get more stability, and after that, unite the Finnic, or the United Finnic Vision. Is Havsk an Usima? Isn't that? That's over here, okay. Barnal Emergency Government? Alright. Gazelleshaft? Uh, let's see. Ooh. Um. That seems kind of. All different places, but okay. And this one's Mari L. Mari L. Alright, not bad. Let's see. Mari. Um, we get claims on them, which is nice, but we don't get cores. I mean, don't get me wrong. If we can take out Helsinki, I gladly will. I guess we get more reinforced rate, I suppose, for now. That's probably really good to get. So, um, I guess at this point, let's get some more artillery. And we did some comms to go through, but let's go ahead and actually. Ooh, down here. Attract new immigrants. Let's do this one. It lowers our war spread a little bit more, but we can still use that extra manpower realistically. Oh, wait. Four divisions. Is that not good? The enemy's forces are stronger. Really? Huh. Okay, well. That's only minus 2%. Let's just go and do that one since we have it anyways. And core population is merely 93,000. Alright. And I guess we do this, the what I said in the beginning of the last episode. Kale of the Poljapug. Alright, we'll see what that one does. Well, death to the Iron Men. Oh, and New Deutschland. Oh. Scavenging? Hey, wow, 40 pieces. Usually we only got two. That's great. We actually got 40 more pieces of artillery. Wow, we actually have a surplus. Wow. That ain't too bad. Um, domestic Domestication of animals seems pretty good. Internal internal breeding? Intensive breeding. Oh, boy. Um, military factory state level 5. I want to keep doing some more land doctrine stuff, which we didn't get any bonuses for this. So, um, I think we'll just do corporal punishment. Let's just, let's just do, let's just do that one. I think that'd be for the best. Firearms, I guess we could try that one. It doesn't really matter to me. So, uh, north. I think we're already here in North Kavala, anyways. Yeah, which we're over here, which is nice. Aland. Oh, the K word. Helsinki. Estonia. Laga is a changed town. The previous atmosphere of chaos and lawlessness is absent. The air smells of sulfur and even the soldiers are nervous. In the center of Lager, where there once was a field for bandits to gather and barter in, now is a giant stage for Uduste to act on. Rows and rows of bandits, once the run to the litter of the Estonian army, now sit near neatly in rows, watched over by their superiors who also don't know what's next. The old Utet steps forward, greeting various generals and figures in the banditry. The once powerful Debago sits in his chair, acknowledging his future role as a puppet. Reese sits next to him, mourning the death of Mary. Curtin is apt on fulfilling his fantasies. A podium is now in front of Utust, one carved out of pine, but not all about it, it is natural. It is arranged to search for some Tanzanium and sound equipment, and his scouts found in Königsberg. His voice will now sound with a power never before seen, and the bandits won't have a clue. 
Brothers in arms, today is a momentous day. The noble crusaders of Tyra have won a victory over greed and from now on. We'll never break. We only ha are hardened in our internal crusade against the Vanna pagan. Utust continued speech, and the soldiers had different reactions. Some shuffled around, still adjusting to the new reality. Some contemplated why they didn't run away when Mary ran. Others, however, became content, not having yet realized that he wouldn't be as rich. Some of the historians even cheered him on, perhaps out of opportunism. Every fight requires a leader, and I tend to be your leader. Le Lambitu foresaw the necessity of unity for unity in the time of invasion by the Crusaders. When the Iron Men invaded, Kael of Vipog nobly took the charge. We all embody their spirit, but the leader of this fight shall be its truest bearer. I therefore declare myself Kael of Vipog, the reincarnation of Kael of Vipog, and I take the responsibilities associated with it. Rise, O Suruuma. Rise, O Suruuma. Cool. And which one is New Deutschland? Is this New Deutschland? Is this it? No, Gotland. Rommelberg. Oh, it's right there. Okay. If we're gonna do that, this will be ready for it. So there you go. Cool. I don't mind raiding. Death to the Iron Men. Hopefully, we'll do quite well. We did make our guess twenty combat with last time. We were only ten combat with, and we literally killed off an enemy division last time. So I'm feeling definitely okay about this one. You know, Southwest Siberia. Hopefully, we we'll get some cores. Empire ahead. Returning home, and we'll turn on the markets, which is not great to lose, but and we also lose political power, which isn't great, but. Oh, oh, guys, you're not supposed to return empty-handed. Oh, that sucks. Cavalry equipment. Artillery again, because we probably could really use that. Up next, basic spears, trained horses. Actually, horse would be better, because we already have at least a few things of artillery. Which should make us pretty strong. I don't know if the AI actually edits their divisions. And China's exploded. Cool. Turn on the markets. Wait, aren't we supposed to have a border war now? Um, well, that's not working. It says start a border war between us and them, but uh, the border war doesn't work. Well, this is still a demo, so. Hey, we only got eight units, but you know, I'd rather take eight units than no units. Um, there we go. Attract immigrants or 60% more support. I don't want to do that anymore. We'll see what happens. We're still looking pretty good here. And our divisions are almost fully made, so. Up next, property of the state. Now we have a harder time getting rid of them. That sucks. Uh, are we, we are trying to make two divisions. Spearmen are nice and all, but... Actually, this, this off attack is 6. 21. Defense for these guys is 34. 15. If we double it, I mean, obviously it would be better. More HP. More. These guys actually have more organization. Melee infantry. Oh, melee infantry does. Huh. 36. This guy's a 40. And this is duplicated, so. Cover rate slightly better for these guys down south, too. Smoke signal is not bad. We could get some radar, but we're going to wait. Support equipment would be nice, but we just can't really do too much about this stuff. Armored elephants. Kind of cool. Uh, why can we do this one? We need explosives and gunpowder. Breach loading rifle, grenade... Wait, so you have to choose between a rotary launcher, grenade launcher, versus a battle rifle. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be... These aren't mutually exclusive in my mind. A grenade launcher and a repeating rifle? Vaporizer rifle? That seems kind of better. Okay, how do we get explosives then? Basic spears? Line, oh, landing attack would be really nice. Combat drugs? Um... Explosives and gunpowder. I guess that's over here. Paved roads, cultivations. Oh, there it is. Let's do that one first then. I want to get rifles. Grenade launchers are cool and all, but... Still. Property of the state? Not bad. And how's it coming along? 51%. It's slowly, slowly going down again. So be it. Scavenging? Do we get anything? Six thingy mobs. Nice. And the Empire lies ahead. Someone did say we were going to go to war with Estonia soon enough, so we'll see about that. It's got a nice top half, though. Mm. More artillery, I guess. We do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm. To figure out what's going on in this mod, so. Although, 21% world tension is not too bad. Also, we can get rid of the Raider tribe. And I guess we can go down one of these routes. So, communism is cool enough, but I don't want to hurt our political power or recruitable population. Ultra-nationalism is not too bad. It only hurts our research speed and actually gives us more population and more war support, which is really nice. Militaristic Empire is okay as well. Better consumer goods and non-core manpower, which is not too bad. And Theodocratic Empire, which is not very good because you lose minus 3% recruitable population. So, instead of Raider Tribe losing... Ooh, we lose research speed and consumer goods. We get a little more political power, stability, minimum surrender limit, as well as war support. I think we'll go with Ultra-nationalism. For now, just because we're conquerors, so... I don't know. We get more population and more support, so there you go. So we're no longer raiders. Which I think is a good thing. Which is okay, actually. We only get points of it every day, which kind of sucks. Hope we keep building ourselves up here, too, so... And what's after this? Returning home? Swords upon swords. Ooh, that's actually probably really good to do. 
a bottle of wine sat at Utust's desk next to, next to it a glass. He had been in a celebratory mood ever since his hit squad shot Mary dead. His compound was on a hill overlooking the town of Lager. It was a small town, and in the night bonfires could be seen from his hill dotting the ground like mushrooms after rain. He opened the bottle and poured it into the glass. Otusta took the glass and studied it. The glass was a work of art. Most glasses like this broke and turned into the glass shards that terrorized every floor in the world. But this one retained its shape and continued on with its duties. It refused to break and said, opting to rise as an example to the other glasses. Utust took a sip of his wine. The glass was indeed an example. An example for other glasses, if needed. And when glasses are to be molded in the future, then this glass will be taken as an example and will be studied. From the sand, a thousand more glasses will be produced and sent to fulfill their duty and calling. Therefore, it was so important that the glass not break, for if this glass breaks, can another one like it be found at all? What's to say that there is no glasses like it and that humanity would have to rediscover the art of making glasses? And new generations of glass makers need to be taught to discover it. Otust finished his wine and put the bottle back into the closet. He wouldn't want all the wine in the world to go away either. Tada forbid there are no more glasses. This is getting kind of crazy. Actually, it's been kind of crazy. Eight more armor? Okay, it could be worse. Just keep spending money. Because we can. Hunan? Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, these guys are actually doing quite well down here. There's a lot of resistance, though. Mao Zedong, Yangtze Republic. Pu Yi. Oh, he's here. Nice. And then Von Pockenhausen. There's more Germans across the world, including the Oba Dakota, than there are in Germany right now, because Germany is just, well, dead. Oh, Germany. All right, what's next? So old ways, civilian factories. Learn Roman roads. Learning to tend wounds. I get another... Ah, that's actually extremely strong. I like that. Another research slot when we're in a situation like this. Nice. And now we're producing trained horses, which is great. Scavengers go missing. Gosh dang it. Trench warfare, which you get more entrenchment speed and more entrenchment versus... Uh, I don't mind unexpected thrust. That's not bad. But we go here, we get elastic defense and helps our tactics movement. Tactic damage. Defender tactic... I kind of want to do that one because we get entrenchment. That's super good for defense. Speed is okay. Our divisions are just normal speed, so I'm not really too worried about them. Four kilometers per hour or yeah i mean plus 50 percent maybe point it's not that bad but eh yeah coffee manpower man trying to get more manpower really sucks why ultra nationalism gives one percent force conscription gives us ten percent so we're still mobilizing more and more and more which is nice hopefully get a course of more stuff let's go ahead and do learn roman roads so we can build things a little bit faster only two more infrastructure in everyone's state that's really strong if you get more and more territory but i'd rather just do it now because I want that research slot. Grand Eastern Army declares one Rajipa. Okay. Cool. Scavenging. Okay. And get eight more units. Not great. But hey, we'll take it. Melee weapons just in case. We got a lot of body armor. Wow. Even cavalry equipment is looking very good. Actually, let's make our cavalry even stronger. Oh, look at that. Dinosaurs? But we don't have any dinosaurs. War elephants? But we don't have any war elephants. I'm disappointed. I want more war ele elephants, please. There's no mobile cavalry, artillery, motorized unit stuff? What the heck? There you go, March 16th, 32. Every few days I get a knock or two on the door. I know exactly who they are. They are the Kalabalans. They come to my home and demand goods from me, even worse than the Russians when they come for my shoemaking business. They will kill most other people they meet, but they seem to let me live. I've had to give everything to them, even in the winters. My fingers are freezing and boils have started appearing on my feet, and they still come. I don't know how long I will last. Probably not that much longer. And now the cavalry is even stronger. Cool. Good, strong cavalry. Even though we need even more. But we're making that, which is really good now. And learning to 10 wounds, we get through into more interesting equipment. Sirsu. But some comments. Um, So someone asked, what's the context of this mod? I don't exactly understand it fully. But from my understanding, my lim very, 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 very limited understanding of this mod. Let's get some ruffled muskets first. We get more organization too, which is good. Um, there, We found alien tech. World War One happened. Everyone killed each other. And kaboom. That's basically what I sum it up as. Kaboom. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to do that one. My bad. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Alien tech. World War One happened. Everyone killed each other. Kaboom. And out of all nations, someone said, Spain and Portugal look pretty much the same and normal. Well, their leader is unknown, but that's all right. There's probably Franco so down there. And Tark Mises Tascas. Tark Mises Tascas. I don't know why. I just, when I say that, I just feel like I'm Jar Jar Binks. Okay. Only two artillery pieces. Oh, that sucks. I want to hire some mercs. Armor... And we have enough money, so... Yeah, well, even if we keep doing this, we get more money back, so it doesn't really matter. And let's see. Basically, someone also said, and there's a lot of support for this comment, this mod looks like it's a mix of Old World Blues, TNO, and Red Flood. I don't disagree. It, it, it does give me little vibes from all that stuff, so... And would you look at that? Tool, you know, it's a self. 
kind of just want to beat people up, but having a third research slot is going to be incredibly strong for this. I guess probably Trained Horse would probably be good. Um, or do I also do a Land Doctrine? Artillery? But let's do to go to Catapults. Engineering? Maybe get some more output. Maybe help. We'll do that one first. Maybe get some more construction speed too. And I guess we're turning home. I mean, then we get a newspaper. Cool. And we're building ourselves up, but keep building ourselves up for more cities first. We can't even build roads. Oh my goodness. Scavenging? Hey, 48 units. Nice. Very nice. Keep getting more daily bandit support. So, kind of weird, but whatever. We'll take it. Administration. We could probably switch out of this one and get more daily army XP chain, but that doesn't really matter too much. A newspaper. A man walked into Utust's office and threw a newspaper on his desk. What is this? He asked. A newspaper. The Republic has begun printing them. Utust picked it up and looked at the headline. Arnold married dead. Kalvala on last legs? Utust chuckled. So, still mad after all this time, Utust read further. He read about the so-called experts believing that one quick blow could make the banditry implode and that the Republic will finally claim victory over the last mutineers. Utust couldn't believe it. Were all the newsmen of Estonia shot for simply having met Utusta in person? This is hardly journalism. He thanked the man and kept the newspaper. The past few weeks were about planning the invasion of Estonia. He needed three months more to ensure his victory over the godless republic until he can come back home. Journalism is indeed a dying art. Chaos in the Gulf? Uh, we could probably try that. I don't get more manpower. First, 3,000. Holy crap. So where is this one? K-U-I-V-V. K-U-I-V-V. -V. Oh, we're already there. Oh, that's not going to be good then. Why are we going to start a border war when you don't even have enough divisions to cover the front line? That is my question, but hey, that's going to be good for entrenchment. Officer score? Hey, starting planning skill level of new army leaders? Nice. Let's keep focusing on the land action. That'll probably make or break us here. And so, you guys. You guys are probably the spearmen? No. You're the only... Okay, you're the only group that actually is ready to go for whatever. Merry soldiers and, and these soldiers are... Oh boy, 10 combat width. Well, screw that. I'm going to go here. We need way more manpower for this. That's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Crossbows replaced with rifled muskets. Very good. And breech loading rifles. Yeah, we might as well get more organization too. Which I don't understand. Like, high powered rifles, breech loading rifles. The one on the left we're researching are now. Four soft attack. This actually gives you more soft attack. Has more piercing. Costs a little bit more produce, of course. Same breakthrough. More hard attack. And more reliability. So, high powered air rifles. What are you shooting with? Air pellets? Huh. All right. Push into Estonia. Um, I want to wait before we go to war because we only have four divisions and we're not looking great yet. We need way more manpower. Putting the band back together. Sippo's always, always on the run ever since the Larka coup. The Republic was taking the axe to everyone that supported Larka and Sippo had the distinction of having stuck around it long enough in the Estonian countryside that he had achieved a stalemate with the local authorities and didn't constantly have bounty hunters on his tail. Still, he was a loner his hut near paid. He sometimes sneaked into the city itself and traded fur to the one shopkeeper who was friendly to him, but always had to do so at night and avoid police patrols. He had placed a lot of trust in that shopkeeper, but had no choice. He could, set, he could eat wolves and bears, but he had no potatoes nor grain, for he's not a farmer but a soldier. He had lived in such a manner for many years until a man came his way. He had at first thought it was a bounty hunter, but he had no helmet on him. No, carry no weapon other than a dagger. It turned out to be a messenger, and while Seppo suddenly raised his pistol, the messenger politely knocked on the door. Seppo Peterson, I have come to talk to you about an employment opportunity. I am with Calvalans, and we would like to get you to the west. Seppo peeked through the front, or from the, between the floorboards, and went up to open the door. He cautiously walked out with his pistol and raised his hand to greet the figure. Pleasure doing business. Very cool. It's a very weird mod. I'll be honest, it's completely weird. It's alright, and then we gotta do Chaos on the Gulf, because we can't do anything else here, right? The anti-communist warpath. Well, hopefully by making your divisions bigger and bigger and bigger with, like, no manpower now, uh, we do okay. That's my hope, that we still do okay. Division per division, we should be able to win, but you never know. Oh, we made another division. Great, great. 45 organization, very nice. 250 HP, and uh, two more units of that stuff. Well, whatever. Get some more Tanzanium. Because that seems like the most one of the most important resources to get. We have a lot of it, so. And there goes Vyaka and the Zlatowski government. As Dragunov there. Maybe. Just close that up for now, because we're going to need to save some manpower to get this other division out first, so. And there it goes. Okay, so that lied to. The war returns. Oh! We go straight to war with them. Okay. Well, we do have six divisions. Okay, so the, the game, the demo, this demo lied again. They said we would go to war. Or, or I should say, we, sh they, uh, we said we have a border war, but... Obviously, that was a lie. No, maybe it was intentional or not, but... Big sadness. Get more manpower. Keep mobilizing, keep mobilizing. We don't stop mobilizing. 
The world returns. Revenge on the Iron Men. The Pisk... Resolve. Oh, hey, nice, cool. The Spirit's Industry, very good. Um, yeah, well, get some construction. We could probably use that, right? Oh, armor this time. Because we're, we're looking good on pretty much everything, except elephants and dinosaurs, which I'm really disappointed. God, I want some dinosaurs really badly. And we go to war with them. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um... Well, you might be able to do well, and we have no focus, right? Oh! Oh, these guys don't have to. Okay. Uh, we should be able to win. How, I don't know how big these divisions are, but they're not very strong. Actually, if we do 1v1, we should be able to do okay, right? They do have two divisions there, and they might have engineers, which is not very good, but having artillery would probably be very helpful. The American War. In depth, in depth I am born. Wait. Why are we having America Battle Royale now? I don't understand the lore of this. <laughs> and we have the Free States of America? And they went all the way up to Nova Scotia? Okay, I I'm not too unhappy about that. I like that a lot now. I think that's great. Actually, you guys go down there too. And circle and destroy if you can. That'd be good. Cool. Yeah, hopefully we're just wiping these guys out. It's so important to get a lot of organization and soft attack. Especially if you're fighting infantry, but... Hey! 40 units of body armor. Not bad, not bad. Get some artillery. Nope. Nope. Alright, well, you do that. You're really going to kill off your own divisions, man. Let's be realistic about it. You guys go there and hop out right there first. And you hop out right there, too. Are they doing force defense? Oh, they actually have a, lot, they have a lot of strength. Okay, that's good to know. Well, even if we can't win there yet, we're just going to come here immediately. I want to encircle and kill them off, so. We will not get killed off here. We'll break through there. We'll break up here. We'll break everywhere we have to, so. Not super worried about this encircle. They did throw three, three divisions here, so that's not good. Break through here. Keep these guys in place. And break down here. We will have an encirclement by the end of this, though, so. There you go. Nope. Hey, we broke through. Look at that. Nice. Not bad. Get him some more organization first. That'd be good. Scavengers go missing. That sucks. Hey, a double encirclement. Would you look at that? But now it's not a double encirclement. Now let's get back up north. Officer Corps. Nice, nice, nice. Get some more breakthrough. That'd be very helpful. Grab some better of those things, and... Repeating rifle? Why not? Get even more organization. Uh, well, just going to hold on to that then. Don't worry about it. That division died, so now we can make an actual encirclement. Alright, we lost 500 versus 12,000. Not too shabby, I do say so myself. Alright, so if that's the case, where's the horse division? Where'd you go? Why'd you go up there? Guys. If they want to come on in, let them come on in. Come on, pound them, pound them, pound them. Pound those horses. And then, as soon as they move over here and there, we're going to attack right here. Good. We're going to kill that division off. We probably need to raise the conscription level again. Um, 50% is not very good. Do that anyways. And, uh, leave that one, because we can. Oh, did they add another division there? Hopefully they did. Maybe not, but we'll see. And then we go. Just send you guys in. You guys can go there too. Just support the attack. Nope, you're not moving. Keep them all keep them all occupied. Just go ahead. We're gonna lose a little bit of manpower, but that's alright. Occupied territories. Civilian oversight is quite good. Actually for this, I should have this one earlier. And we'll call them SUPS. There you go. SUPS. Alright, we removed the arty there. No, we didn't. There you go. That's better. There you go. Nice. Very good. Head on down here. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. Very, very nice. And go right there. Because if we can't beat the division immediately, well, we'll just go around them. And there you go. They are taking everything else. I guess they have. Scavenging. Hey, 10 more things of cavalry equipment. Yeah, they're literally just going to die here. So, we've cut off 25,000 Estonians. We lost about 500 of our own guys, so... Not too worried about it. Pretty darn nice. Now, I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do. Hey, no, 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 no. Why does it auto-peace out for us? No. 
That's so dumb. So dumb. Um, are we locked out of this? Well, the Russians are not a threat anymore. I think we've been locked out of this. Hold on. All right. So if this is the case, we'll have to manually go to war with them or something. Uh, if I have to, I will use a straight attention to a mod. I don't think it's. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, no. Never mind. Here we go. We go to war with them. Okay. We don't have to use it, which is good. Oh, track. Oh, oh, we can core too. Look at that. Yes. Yes. I'm glad that that devs actually thought about coring stuff. That's actually really good. Thank you, devs. Thank you. If they're watching, I have no idea if they're watching or not. We have a bunch of cavalry equipment now. Look at that. That's really nice. And there we go. Thank you. News from the east. Our recent conquest of Peska has not gone unnoticed. What many see as one of the oldest Russian cities has not yet fallen again under Estonian control, but under Banas as well. The Russian warlords have sent us demands to hand over the territory or risk annihilation. This is a possible blow to the outside statelet so soon after the war with Estonia that it could spell the end of us. Alright, let's meet. Apprentice strike. Raise fortifications. We'll probably won't do that no matter what, so. We need more manpower. I don't care what it costs for war support. We just need more manpower immediately. Uh, wait, why can't you do any of this? The situation has been resolved, so I'm not sure why we can't do that one, but okay. I'll get some catapults next. Um, so who's doing this to us? Uh, Zinoviev has given us 60 days to answer it until he comes to us to take Pisk off. Vlasov. Makno. Uh. I. No, wh where? Who? Sinoviev, I don't know where he is. Wait, we missed him last time. Greater tool. Why is it we have a wide Himmler? What? Wide Himmler, wide Himmler, not as good as Hadrius's birthing hips. And Bowman Kagan. Um, yeah, no, I don't see him, so I'm not really too worried. If, if, uh, okay, so if anything, one, two, three, four, five. Or go. Uh, let's see what we do here. Eh, that's not really going to be a one. Uh, let's do it like this, just because I don't know if we can actually record that. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Something like that, maybe. I mean, we'll get this stuff cord pretty quickly, but sixty days have passed. All right, more toad artillery is very nice. Scavenger firearms don't really care. How many divisions? We can't even tell how many divisions these guys have. You know what? Awakening the Reds. Resolution of the Pisk situation will be delayed until we've fully dealt with this. I, 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 I don't know. I literally don't know. 60 days have passed. Uh, the Russians demand P Piskov from us, and today is a day we were supposed to follow up on their threats. Depending on what actions we took, the response of the Russians may vary. We can hope that we survive. Why do we go to war with them? These guys are dead. The guys are dead over there. I'm going to wait for them to come over here and just wail against us, so... There we go. A few good Russians. Get more manpower would be very nice. Ooh, let's do this one. The few pious Republicans. Let them come into our lands first. I want to see what, if they can do any damage to us. The anti-communist warpath. Strange news comes from Estonia as... Ravavenna Ma Ustasis Utuze has declared the beginning of the anti-communist warpath after the Petrograd Soviet demand that the city of Piskov be handed over to the control. The state that our controls is said to be a Nagel pagan theory, a theocracy, with emphasis on return to the tribe and a strengthening of family relations, as with village elders acting in some places with almost dictatorial powers. The war with the Soviet will prove to be the ultimate test of their ideology and strength. Disturbing? I don't. I'm not disturbed at all. Do they even have anything? Can we get an uh, intelligence agency? We cannot. We need more, one more city. Okay, so they're slowly moving in. So let them come on in. Let them get all these things. Scavengers go missing. God dang it, guys. Uh, probably that's the one the best to do. So let them take all the stuff. We can't even see their divisions. Oh, found them. Well, the few pious Republicans. A good good few Russians. Okay, that's not bad. Is this cord yet? When do we core it? Wait, why can we core this stuff? Why is, why is it disabled? I know we don't have manpower, but still. Screw it. Raise it up again. So we have that one. I don't understand this at all. What? We can't core this? Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe it's just part of the game and such that 
we gotta spend more time with it, but like, I don't know. Is there are there any cores that we can get for free? Why do we have to go down here? Why do we have to wait so long for this? I don't know if I agree with that one. I really don't know if I agree with that. Um, split you guys in half then. Half you guys go right there. I think the other half can go right here. Led by Mr. Four. Let's go with four there. Nice. Let's put our guys up a little bit. See what we can do. See what damage we can do. Catapults are nice. Trebuchets. Alright. Alright, not bad. Abandoned Piskoff. I ain't going to do that. The Wicked of the Reds. Okay, we'll do that one, I guess. They want to attack our lands. Mm -mm. You should be able to win here. Especially if... The, oh, we got more Breakthrough, too. That's nice. Uh, many Heretics to Reclaim. Uh, we get more War Support. There's only 2%, though. I guess we can do that one. Yeah, why not? Infantry Offense. This will get more to that. The Land Out Attack would probably be very good to get right now. Yeah, let's do that one. They have two divisions, and they're quite full strength. Quite full strength. But our guys are 20 combo, but they're using an extra division compared to them, so... I guess I'll have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. We still might lose, though. You never know. You really just never know. Chelyabinsk. Can we actually win over here as well, or is this a river? No, we're not fighting over a river. 70? Yeah, it looks like we're slowly winning, so... I want to do this a little bit more carefully, just because I want to make sure we can circle and destroy enemy divisions. We're out of manpower, which sucks, but whatever. Alright, so there they're at. Don't make any divisions for now. Boom, 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 boom. Well, we'll see what we can do about this. We gotta just encircle and destroy them, so. There we go. And up here, we should have that soon enough. Just let the cavalry divisions move fast enough, and then we will attack from here. The reason, the many reasons to fight, many hack, hack acres to reclaim. Yes, yes. There are two divisions. Hopefully, we can break them up here. Start attacking here now. Because we're going to be quite encircled quite a bit, so. <laughs> Not good. Crap. I don't want to get encircled ourselves. God dang it. Hold it. Hold here. Go. Oh, help. No, attack there. Attack there. Go back in there. Hold the line. Hold the line. This is extremely risky. Wow. Come on, kill them off faster. Kill them off faster. Alright, so you guys help support the attack here. You should be able to get this done faster than this. Return empty-handed. This didn't die. Hey, we got him. And let's come on back. Game. No, 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 no. I want this one. Let, just return home. So this way we can circle them again. Boom. Just let the guys return. Actually, you guys go right there. Beat them up anyways and do that. Let them come on in. I don't want to deal with the resistance and such. There you go. No, 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 no. I said hold. Well, we've lost a thousand, 1300. We killed off 15,000, so. I'm feeling not too bad about it. Mm. Let them come back up to the line, and then many to kill. That'll be good. Let them spread out, because they choose to not do well. Nice. Alright, so they got one guy there, which is fine with us. So you guys go there. Uh, keep one guy here. I think one of you guys go down to bam, 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 bam. And we'll link up here. Cool. Can you guys actually get up there, maybe? Um, Boom, 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 boom. That's not really good. Boom, boom, boom. That will work better. You guys go right there. There we go. That's how we're going to do it. Got to be smart about this. Artillery, thank you. Trebuchet. Cannons. We need a military factory still. Could use more food as well. That'd be good. Don't let it move. Yamburg. You piece of crap. You absolute piece of horse crap. No, go there. Screw it. You're gonna die here. Uh, you guys go down here too. Nice. Go in and come down here. Force them to die. I'm not going to tolerate this, man. No way. Absolutely no way. 
And we've got them. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. Just make sure they don't come out through here. Two divisions. Good, good, good. Kill them off. Yay, nowhere to run. Good. Tara bless us. All right. And then the many to kill. Uh, we're out of focuses for now. Cracking the whip to Europe sounds like fun to me, but at this point... Let's do. I want to focus on these divisions because I want to kill them off as fast as possible, so... Uh, where's the cavalry? You guys can go up there real quick. Make it a real, real, real quick trip. More artillery is nice, nice, nice. There you go. That's all I gotta do. Hopefully that's all the divisions they have. Yep. Up, up to three divisions, but now they're dead, and then we'll just let them rip. And let them go. Hey, you're gonna die now. You're a rock star. You're gonna die now. And we're gonna take over all of Russia, apparently, or something like that, so. Go right ahead, guys. We killed them all off, pretty much. Maybe except for one... No. We killed off 36,000 manpower. 37,000 by taking less than 2,000 casualties. Now, there's a lot of resistance here, but that kind of sucks. If that's the case, let's go ahead and grab some more attack. Yeah, I should have done this one earlier, but let's get more attack. We're still mobilizing? That's good. Hopefully we can core all this stuff. Scavenging? Eh, five cavalry. Whatever. Battle rifles are nice. And let's grab some assault rifles. Alien lasers. Oh, yeah, I don't think we'll get that one. That's probably very far away. Alien stuff? Yeah, that's... Jesus Christ. Alien metal stuff? That's very far away. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as we get vaporizer rifles. So, assault rifles. Nice. I don't know why they thought they could beat us up. They obviously couldn't. Where's the horse boys? Oh, Peter? Oh, yes. That'd be nice. Straight to Moscow. Hundred infantry limit, nice. All right. Well, I don't think I should really take these guys. I should probably puppet them, but I'm not liberating them. There's no way I'm going to liberate these guys. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, meeting with oh, oh yeah, we definitely don't meet with Novgorod locals. We just straight up get all the cores, strengthen a grip over West Russia, capture conquer West Russia, resolve the Tosk situation. Siruma, Siruma conquers West Russia. Vlasov, Zinoviev, and Bulag Bolachowicz were all expected to defeat Utuse, or at least force him into a stalemate. It appears that these hopes have been dashed as the last resistance has been put out. Juno Vlasov has been executed by his own men, and Utuse has ordered the destruction of various culturally important Russian landmarks, such as the Kremlin and various Orthodox churches all around Moscow. What's much more disturbing is said to be the fate of Petrograd, which has been ordered to be outright destroyed in the bog that was in its place before the Great Northern War to be restored. At least there is peace. Yeah, I guess you call that. You can call it peace. Um, keep going with more riflemen. I love the riflemen. Holy Jesus. Good words. Look at that manpower. We just get free cores. Great. Um, a sin most disgusting. I mean, we had auto bypasses because we would have killed them all off. All right. Uh, a revenge on the Iron Men. Sure, why not? Because I do want to get core on Harju, which I don't like that we have to wait so long to core it. My gosh. But hey, we can get one of these intelligence agencies and get Rook. Uh, so we can help put down resistance. So, hey, if you guys can come up with a cool intelligence agency name, please let me know in the comments below. Especially one that looks like it should be Finnish or Estonian. So, let me know in the comments below what do you think it should be. Supply consumption. We should get some field hospitals, but we don't have enough research slots for that right now. So, uh, trebuchets. There you go. There you go. Actually, w wait. We can actually make elephants up here. Okay, okay. We got to do that then. Oh, we're out of resources too, which is not very good. Hey, the Iron Man. Otustas... Kustas Utuse was reveling in his recent victory over Estonia. The entire government had been wiped from the earth, but everywhere he went, he was reminded of his true enemy. The fallen soldiers were carrying guns scavenged from the German Imperial Army, and the local leaders his armies opposed were in the Baltic German mansions, and they spoke German. He had killed man, many Estonians in that war, and that was one of the bad things about it. Sure, Estonia needed purity, but all, not all of them were beyond redemption. Utuste had to admit Germany was on its last legs. The once global empire was destroyed when they flew too close to the sun, and even the Republicans had enough and drove them into the sea. But there was no sea. Now, Rudiger von der Goltz and his henchmen are still there. They claim to be the last remnant of the German ethnicity, but we all know that they are truly all about. A return to the global hegemony they once had. 
Utuste had to prevent this at any cost. For days, speeches and lager boomed and soldiers were given extra training and supplies. The Germans are on their last legs, we're capitalizing on that, and that's exactly why we must not fail. Why we must not shiver as much as we march west. A loss here is a loss forever. Sure. We get plus one organization, which is not bad, actually. Wait, we get more HP in our... Hmm. Okay, that's kind of different. Now let's keep doing one more of these at all times. Cultivation? Motorization sounds good. And our shared hatred. A little some pee-pee, but that's okay. So it sounds like we're coming back here, which is fine with us. Scavenging? P Poland? The European War. When war begins, Satan makes heck bigger. Alright. Well, whatever. We still have more than enough resources. Okay. More resources? Sure. Yeah, three territories. Wow. Wait, Poland went to war with these guys too? Are these guys allied or something? Yep, the European Alliance. We'll probably kill them off later. Oh, look at this. This is the Ideal Ural Federation. Our shared hatred. Thank you. Stormtrooper tactics. Oh, against the United Baltic Duchy, plus 10% more attack. Nice. A punishing most fitting. Oh, I'll do that one, because we can. And now we're not going to lower our war spread anymore just because we would have enough divisions for that. Or enough manpower for now, at least. Especially when we raise up our conscription level so high already. Uh, Spearmen are okay. Unnamed? Oh, we have an unnamed seducer who likes to smooch, smooch, smooch? Oh, sign us up. Wait, wait I guess it... Are these all cord? Well, by now they should be all cords, so... Okay. We can only get one? Eh, it could be worse. How much money do we need? Well, we have a lot of money. Well, wow, holy crap. Show no mercy? Oh, good word. Oh, yeah, I can see that one. Um, I guess up next is show no mercy in the UBD. Is this the UBD? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't. I want to go straight to war with them. These filthy people. Von der Goats. Germans. Ugh. They lose PP first. Rally the men. That'd be nice and all, but we'll do this up when we're at war. Wipe the slate clean. Oh, we have to be at peace with us. Well, that sucks. Show no mercy. Scavenging? Cool. We get a whole one cavalry equipment. <sighs> Feels so good, doesn't it? And Jesus Christ, we just get so many... Yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. An absolute slaughter. We have 16 divisions against these guys. And we actually do need more artillery now. That's not good. So. Is there any limits to, like, what the year it is we get this stuff? I guess not. We went from rifled muskets a few years ago all the way to assault carbines. Carbines. Wow. I mean, just... Wow. <laughs> okay. Why not? Mm. Economists? Sure. Oh, we can build some more of this stuff, too. Well, then. Mm. There you go. You can build some roads. I kind of want to build... Alright, not bad. And, uh... Samara... Wait, Samara unites the steps. There you go. Do all this stuff, too. This feels like TNO now, at this point. I'm trying to scavenge... I'm just building up nothing but cities because I'm running out of things to do. So, okay. There you go. Followed up with what? Rally the men? Do I even want to pay attention to this too much? I mean, they have up to five divisions. This is really sad for them. New Berlin's going to fall so hard. Guys, why are you avoiding New Berlin? <laughs> we killed off 3,000 Germans, 3,200 Germans, 8,200 8, Germans, but without taking a single casualty. That's what we like to see, man. That's definitely what we like to see. So after that, I guess the Iron Men will melt. We get 500 units, and the death of... of... the Goats. Not Von der Goats, just... Goats. Cool, not bad. Alright, everyone, so apparently, the Confederate States are dead, the Iron Men will melt, and the death of Von der Goats. Rudiger von der Goetz, Iron Men have been broken. The masses brought the world into this tribulation, and with the Baltic Sea brought us a sacrifice. Who are they to declare its corpse as their possession? Rudiger von der Goetz at least had the good manners to die with his men and not be faced with the dishonor of imprisonment. Either that or he ran away since we don't lo didn't locate his corpse. At least we couldn't identify it since there were some charred corpses we found, presumably cremated by the Germans themselves. In any case, it hardly matters. With the deaths of the gods Rommel and Guderian, which I guess they all died there, the UBD is dead. Bandits may remain, but we will set fire to the camps and we'll set bullets and blades upon them. And we will strike their memory from history, while Siruma will always be remembered as avenging Madisepev at New Berlin. New Berlin is hardly a proper name. Maybe Tara Lim? And we have Chinese reunification too. Cool. A day with accomplice? Uh, we could probably do that one. Away with accomplices. Why not? Might as well, right? 
And also, we can go into core of their territory, too, which is really nice. Actually, we already did. We found lots of firearms. Nice. Artillery, thank you. Mexican Rangers go around Chiapas. And we can core Hondo's Posen. Uh, nice. Not sure what to say, but nice. Now, can we, I want to beat up the Latvians. Latvians or R Riga? Can we beat up Riga? I want to beat up Riga. I think that'd be a lot of fun. All right, so at this point, let's get down on the train because we only have so much manpower right now. So and let's go down to three for funsies. All right, after that, I guess we'll do our northern brothers. Oh, we can go to our Helsinki next. Oh, oh, that's going to be a little overkill, but that's okay with us. That is totally okay with us. Scavenging? Okay. Gotz was gone. Sherba's legacy stands. Saruma stands victorious over the Dutch, and the last of uh, Iron Man is gone. New Berlin was in ruins. The families and civilians were hiding, speaking German in hushed tones ever since the Cerulans arrived. Then one day, more than more men on horseback arrived, a column of men marching through the city not soon after, being led by the Cerulans of our city. The townspeople nearby recognized a few faces. The doctor, priest, officer, teacher, all of them were leaders of local life. They were never seen in the city again, though. Everybody knew what happened. Replacements arrived soon, and all of them loyal to Ututse. The schoolhouse was emptied of German books and replaced with Estonian ones. Some soldiers settled down in New Berlin and soon the name of what was Taralim, not New Berlin. Estonians began to ran all fields of public life, and the Germans have been brought to an underclass, probably never coming up on top again. At least not by themselves. Deutschland ist verloren. I guess the Estonians really hate the Germans. Makes sense, I guess. And then after this, I guess we'll do show them danger? Or the danger. The inevitability, drawing upon hatred. Ooh, I kind of like that one. We'll probably do this one. Show them the danger because it's an eyeball and fire. That's very weird. And then I do want to do the most fitting punishment as well as wipe the slate clean. I think that'd be good. And we just got some support equipment. Nice. Let's grab some military hospitals because that's part of our land doctrine. So we might as well, right? Thank you very much. No one left behind? Well, we don't leave anyone behind, especially those in wheelchairs. So, intensive training. More army XP gain, division training time, and more max training. Plus 150%. Oh, you should stop doing that. Go ahead. I'm not really too worried about it, so. Show them the danger. And they... Oh, it's a glitch now. God dang it. We're going to take Helsinki, so these guys are all cut off anyway, so they're all going to die. It doesn't really matter too much. There you go. Helsinki's ours. Goodbye. And... Oh, drown in the dirt. Invasion of Finland. Well, let's do Tanzanium. And, uh, yeah. One can say what they want about the degenerate republic that once plagued Estonia, but the good thing that can be said is that it was unified. The ones who stayed behind in Estonia were at least unified in the vision of a godless republic. Yeah, let's get vaporizer rifles. Why not? Why not? One cannot say that about Finland. Finland is plagued by communists, brigands, traitors, and Germans, all of whom who don't pay their respects to Tara, or at least we can see any god. Finland must be clean. Kaiserlicha Marin? Okay, well, all right, well, we'll see what happens. Who's next? On Lati? And then, and the first splitter. Kotla? Kotka? Well, it doesn't really matter to me too much, I'll be honest. Hope we get cores on these guys, but we'll see what happens. There you go. There you go. Kill them all off. The inevitability. Plus five army XP. Oh, right then? Wow. Justice remains. Ned Debago was in a state of half sleep, half awareness when death knocked on his door. He was in his bed with his woman for the day when the sound of marching in Ututse soldiers shouting his name in an Estonian accent with his long vowels jolted him into panic and full awareness. He was aware of what was bound to happen. Ututse had no tolerance for him ever since he took control of Kalvala and was finally coming for him. He shook his woman awake and told her to run into the corridor. Debago then began sneakily gathering his things, stepping towards the window. The woman was completely lost in the manner only being taken by Debago a few days prior in Latvia. One of the soldiers shouted something about Debago in Estonian and shot her. Debago momentarily felt relief and peeked out of the window for any other soldiers. More steps up the stairs, then one of them opened his mouth. He didn't know what the words were, but knew exactly what they meant. V2 Major Tom, C I O L Debago, C on ta Hur. Debago lost his relief and climbed out of the window without a second thought, but as soon as he realized the height he would fall, he held on. Unfortunately for him, his knees smacked against the wall, and the soldiers undoubtedly heard it, as did the soldier with a spear he did not see, who put his spear under his leg. The soldiers came rushing out. The captain among them told the spearman to adjust the position of his spear. The soldiers began pelting Debago with rocks and hawks of dirt. Hi, sit, uh, pia, vasta ules. I don't speak Finnish or Estonian. My apologies. Debago looked up to the man on the window and yelped. It was a soldier with a knife. He said it the knife onto Debago's fingers ready to chop, chop, chop. 
Debago sweated, muscles all over his body twitched, and Debago shouted nine at him, but it didn't help. The soldier threw the knife away and punched his fingers with a strong blow, almost breaking his fingers. Debago lost his grip and fell into the spear, which penetrated his pants. Ooh! Went through his intestines and head, impaling him. Jesus Christ, how sharp is that spear? The man with the spear collapsed under the weight, but crawled up, the soldiers around him laughing and fitting in. What the? Oh, okay then. Okay. <laughs> and the first spear. To... Oh, we just keep going to war with people here. Where is this? Oh, uh, well. That's right there. Um, this one is Kotka. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, boom, boom, boom. That doesn't really matter. Lati, thank you for playing. Tess? Someone did say to me that Tessa can be elected to the president of the Confederacy, I guess. Um, but southern st the southern states are gone. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, looks like Persians are going to die. And now North America has been taken over by Germans, so. Could be a worse fate, I guess. Kotka, I guess. It's up next. Go right in, in, guys, I guess. These guys are taking a while to kill up here. It's alright, though. Doesn't really matter to us too much. Taylor, thank you. Anything else? Nope. Scavenging nice. The inevitability. We're very much at war right now. And throw away our shackles. More manpower? It's only 500, but eh, we'll take it. Why not? We might need more manpower later on, too, so. We definitely could use lots of plaques and stuff. We might want to grab some logistic companies, too. And there they go. Nice. Oh, now we can see that. We lost literally nobody, We've, even though we killed off 4,100 enemies. What a beautiful thing, my friends. Coca-Cola? Oh, do you have upgrades? Yes, please. Actually, at this point, we might as well keep doing these guys, too, then. There you go. Make it four divisions. Nice, 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 nice. nice. And there goes the United States. And there goes the Casalicia Marina, which I guess makes sense. They're on the sea up there, but whatever. Uh, Savo? Ah, they're over there, huh? Well, let's take you guys out first, too. Combine together. There you go. Good luck. Still building more cities. I want to build more roads, though. Yeah, let's get some more of that stuff. This guy should die soon enough. Doesn't really matter who we throw in here. Throw away your shackles. And return empty handed. Draw upon hatred. Oh. I mean, they're already all dead, so. Not really sure what else to say. How many divisions you got here? Just one? That doesn't matter. Alright, well, whatever. Really doesn't matter. I wanna. Can we integrate these guys? I really think that'd be good. End of the Kaiser's Nightmare. Olu? Well, who's up here now before they die? Oh! Mannerheim! Wow, that's weird. Okay. Drop on hatred. We love hatred. And we were spirits of Tara. Uh, plus 100 more political power. Okay, then. Armor, because we can. And we'll take out these guys next, too. Uh, okay, grab even more support equipment. I want more, 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 more support equipment. There you go. That'll be good, because we can get some more uh, good stuff. There you go. Go right ahead. And there we go. Three, two, one. Let's go! And state. That's a nice state. State 1015. We don't need an actual name. That state is the best name. All right, and triumph in Finland. Oh, we're almost done. We get all the scores too. Oh, whoops, my bad. Um, let's wait to be at peace first. You guys, come up here. Scavenging. We got one whole cavalry equipment, and three, two, go ahead. Cool. And they'll die probably pretty darn soon. Supplies are kind of bad up here though. Hey, there we go. Field hospitals. That's exactly what we wanted. Maybe get some trained horses now, actually. That might be pretty good. We don't really need them, but since we, it's part of our land auction, we'll probably throw that stuff up there, too, eventually. Oh, we're not done yet. We just started doing it. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Oh, we can do this, too. Trump of Finland. Nice. We'll get cores on all this stuff. That's very good. I don't like resistance, so. We're turning out to be very, very strong. Incredibly strong. Oh, crap. We go missing. It doesn't really matter, though. Thank you. All right. Not bad. I don't know where to send you guys, so get out of here. I want to beat the Riga government, though. Vaporize rifles on very nice. Good, good, good. And let's come over here and 
and 43. Between 36, we start off with crossbows, and we end up in 43 with vaporizer rifles. I think that might be a little OP, but maybe that's just me. Infrastructure, please. Yes, yes. After that, let's finally go and do wipe this like clean. I want to get at least these two done. That'll be nice. Free cores. Yay! Ancestor training, nice. And we'll finish our land auction with combined arms. More planning speed, which is not very great, but hey, we'll take it. Whoa. Why do we need so much more leather armor and body armor now? Oh, maybe it's because of resistance, maybe? It might be because of that. Maybe not. And eh, it doesn't matter to me. We'll get it done. The Rangers pass by Mexico. Cool. Why do we need so much? Is it because of this stuff, maybe? I guess these guys all require a lot of body armor, so it makes sense, I suppose. Keep training. I mean, we're looking not terrible. We make 27, 40, 40, wow, jumped up from 27 to 40 a day. Death of... Wait, Iberia? What the heck? It just happened! Something happened as the walls of Iberia just cracked down, and Tanzanesium spews forth in the Iberian Peninsula. Oh, there's an event for this? Hold on. Well, I don't know if I hear any audio. Yeah, I don't hear anything, so... How many times have those awful words, I know what I'm doing, have been uttered throughout the history of prelude to disaster? Well done. Cracking the window to Europe. After we get this one done. Well, it's so soft, I, I, can't, I can't barely even hear, so you guys wouldn't be able to hear it either. So, cracking the window. After so much strong flight, Ututse's troops had taken Petrograd. Petrograd was built for the purpose of exerting Russian influence in the Baltic, nobly over, notably over Estonia. And Ututse simply couldn't take that. He ordered the entire thing burned down, and the only settlements left to be a fishing village and a base where engineers would facilitate its return to a natural state. A huge bog, one that would demand the sacrifice of thousands to develop. The first phase of the job was, of course, the most fun for the soldiers. The looting of a former center of the world trade. Just like in the clique. The soldiers went and tore the entire thing to ruins, with nothing left without scars. Chandeliers from dancing halls, gold from churches, and anything resembling value by the end of the month. The city was unrecognizable. Otuste had decided to keep Bullock Balachowicz around to see the destruction. Later, the same dude was taken to a cellar. You're bad, we're insane, shouted Stanislaw as he stared at Otuse. Destroying all of Petrograd, he shouted again. Otuse began to calmly, yet somewhat angrily, explain, Yes, this isn't the land of the Russians, but of the Ishorians, Ingrians, and Votes. They did not build the city, had no say in the horrific existence. And now they are dead, some of them have joined our warpath, and all see Petrograd as a symbol of Russia. We act under the suggestion which in their land is a command. Goodbye. Otuse lifted his revolver. Uh, Bolag Balachowicz shouted something in Polish, probably, but he was interrupted by Otuse firing his revolver directly into his head. Blood spattered against the wall, and the, and the dude dropped dead. I'll use that as a figurine as a... I'll use that figurine as a hammer? Petrograd is renamed to former Petrograd. Jesus Christ. Hey, but it's all corpse, so I don't really care. Nice. I guess we can keep scavenging if we really want to. I don't know if there's really any point for us to do so anymore, but whatever. So after that, then do the conquests have only begun. Cool. Against Lithuania? Oh, but what about La what? Why La Lithuania? Why not Latvia first? Free Lithuania. Well, it's only free until it, it costs something to buy it. Wait, what is that? Oh, there's a revolver there. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. It's a very weird mod. The Hall of the Trader General. Ututse did not expect himself to be here this early, but was pleased nonetheless. General Andrei Vas Vasov had escaped to Smolensk for a little bit, but Ututse's forces captured him, attempting to flee east on a carriage towards Poland. He probably would have made it too if only one of his men didn't chicken out and give us which carriage he was in. It turns out he was a Bolshevik. The rest passed, but Vlasov was tied to one of the horses and taken to Moscow to the Kremlin, which I thought we already destroyed. Locals and soldiers saw alike Vlasov in the streets of Moscow being paraded around on a random horse, but he was being taken to the Kremlin. Vlasov was tied to a chair in a red square with nine soldiers formerly from his own army standing in front of him with daggers. Otutse was nearby to tell him, Well, I heard you got your start by betraying Zinoviev, and that was... You weren't exactly the most faithful to your own men. Well, these are nine of the best soldiers that came over to mine, and they're going to teach you what constant betrayal leads to. Otutse walked away and clapped his hands. The soldiers walked forward and tore Vlasov apart. Scavenging. Artillery units. Yay. Resources. I'm not sure what this stuff does. We got a lot of it, though. We got a lot of water now, too. We need more resources. Especially dinosaurs, because we're making some dinosaurs. How do we make these divisions? Um, Sups are nice, but... Are they considered mobile? No, this melee... Oh, those melee dinosaur melee infantry, war elephants. Um, they're a they get a lot less defense. Dinosaurs do. Wow, they get a lot more breakthrough, which I like. But the ride continues. Otutse came off the horse and Ted Manistelen, having returned home after a few months of Finland, leading his forces to victory. 
When he came home, some things nodded him when conquering Vasa in the distance he saw shadowy figures who retreated west as soon as he approached them. He knew exactly where they were from, even if he hadn't been there. Asphalus, they they are those nut jobs who kept ranting about intelligence without having to realize it is the strength that builds a nation. Even in the Baltic Sea he wasn't safe. Asphalus' influence stretched outwards through the waves of refugees that headed north towards it, almost all of them not knowing the pain that was present there. He had to shut that train of manpower down somehow. The refugees, of course, came here from the south, from the Free Lithuanian Army's territory. Otutse remembered how they'd been stealing his economic productivity by utilizing greed. The Free Lithuanians aimed to take down Poland. Of course, if they take Poland, they can take down us. Otutse set his horse to the stables, fully know he would have to mount him once more and soon. We will break them both against Lithuania. A spring of blood? Oh, let's hope so. Let's hope it's very bloody against the Lithuanians. Got even more manpower. We're still building up 15, 15, 3. Jesus, that's so good. I really like the Warlord development, but without more, like, descriptions of the events and stuff, I wish there's a little bit more we could, like, read about. What are you guys doing over here? Get out of there, man. There you go. Let's go to the line. And train. We all need all soldiers to be good and trained. A spring of blood. Otutse sat at the head of the table, flanked by his officers and leaders. We're going to invade the southern Baltic, where the Kazi Eskerpa Lithuanian army is. They've been emboldening their forces for the past couple of years, so we need to probe first. To gain a decisive advantage in the north, we need to set up three great raids and just have enough time between them to prepare ourselves, but not enough them time for them to prepare, Otutse uh, explained. Otutse uh, explained. There will be little discussion. I leave the smallest detail to you, but I order you to crush the forces. There can be no failure. The world depends on it. Ututse stood up and walked out. The officers weren't sure if this was a good idea, but they could just stay out and survive, not risking everything they have with this war. Prove your strength, Divas. Armored horse? Armored horses? Ooh, that's not bad. But what else do we have here? Anything else? Let's get some more Lana to attack first. Horses are doing relatively okay already, so. And then we'll go up in their camps? Sure. Let's stop doing that, because... Uh, they already said that maybe we're doing a border war, maybe not, but I don't, I don't really trust it, so. Hey, 40 more cavalry equipment, why not? And then terrorize the Lithuanians? Oh, and their terrorism next, probably, so. Ooh. <gasps> yay, paved roads! Roads, yay! Oh, Air Force Base. Uh, let's go and grab this one. Civilian factories, might as well. And will a thing actually start here? It doesn't really matter. And their terrorism. Nope, we were lied to. God dang it. I don't like getting lied to, man. This is kind of suck around here. There's almost too many divisions. Oh, wait. Oh, we can build this up. Yes, go build it up immediately. More roads immediately first. I, uh, I just want to make sure our roads are good. Ah, screw it. Get at least one going there now. An unexpected ally. Siroma's soldiers had set up camp all over Novgorod. Not camps for soldiers, but for prisoners. Tents, fences, whatever was available was used to fence off prisoners of war and other undesirables that were found. Many would be killed off by the soldiers, others would starve, and some would become slaves, but Mikhail Tukhachevsky was not one of these men, at least he thought so. Tukhachevsky was probably the most important man there, having served as an important figure of the Red Army who stood by Lenin and their Zinoviev, as their little empire quickly fell apart and was overrun by counter-revolutionaries and traitors. It was then that his flirting with paganism from his youth reared its ugly head again. He returned to his previous beliefs about Porun, and thought about that Christianity and its defiling of Porun had caused a dark month. This was masked as an anti-Christian and anti-bourgeois position before the Second Cold War, but now Tukhachevsky was openly preaching to the other prisoners about Parun in hopes that Ututse would hear his call. A movement in the prisons is growing. It is good that we were informed early, as we couldn't have cracked down upon a full-scale prison riot. And the movement in its infancy is in its infancy. We're killing Tukhachevsky would very well destroy it. So we have a decision. Integrate it or destroy him. Send him a bullet. Wait. Send him a bullet. We get a general. Uh, I like the political power. We don't need that anymore, so... Ah, let's get Tukhachevsky with us. And then Lithu terrorize Lithuanians? When in doubt, always terrorize Lithuanians, right? Is that the, me the message, message I'm getting here? Let's get some fighters. Screw that. Fighters time. How fast are we building up? Uh, that's not bad. In less than a month. In three weeks, we'll have that done. We could honestly probably go back down here. I don't want our organization anymore. Might as well. Why not? And the terrorism? Cool. And then, uh, if we need to raise it back up, we can always can. So. Why not? And after that... Ride itself. We get epilogue. Well, we'll see how far we can get. I might have to split this off into another episode, but we'll see what happens. Um, ba Badenburg. Not Brandenburg, but Badenburg. Okay. Well, I'm just ready to kill them off. Maybe we'll end it like... Yeah, maybe we'll end it after we just kill them off, maybe. Ride south. I just want to kill them off. And then ride north. Oh, we'll go to North Allen. Alright, well, let's do this one first. Why not? We could definitely use way more infrastructure here. 
Yeah, eventually we want to build up all this infrastructure. Hopefully we can go to war with all of these guys over here. But we'll see what happens. Definitely see what happens. Not bad. Yeah, cool. Oh, look at all these resources that we should, we should have been uh, using and abusing and trying to get. Yeah, we definitely need more infrastructure. Holy crap. Ride south. And then we can ride north, I guess. Well, I say let's wait to do that. I want to get through this. Wait. Oh, they're over here. My bad. I, got, I want to beat up Riga. I always want to beat up Riga. I don't know why. It just... Me and Riga, we don't have good relations, apparently. Oh, crap. We just got encircled. My bad. Well, they have up to six divisions, so I'm not really too worried about it, so... And you know what? Since we're so close, I guess we'll ride north then. Divide at Tempera. New Vil Vil Vilnius? Cool. But I think we'll end it there just because I think I need to take a break. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end this campaign and the demo and see what else we have after, I guess, the Tengris have destroyed Machno. Thanks for watching, though, guys, and have a great, great, great rest of your day.